Stump! Do you ever find yourself lonely electrolyte? Eh? Do you ever find yourself in need for recovery? Then look no further than Dr. Bryce Electrolyte, right? Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you about Adapt Super Water. It's the first hemp beverage certified for sport by the NSF. Here, I got immunity, antioxidant, pomegranate, and hibiscus. Kashal, welcome back to another episode of Can't Handle the Heat. It's your boy G Swizz, and I'm joined by Joe and Micah. That's the first time we got that right, boys. Um, that was awesome. Uh, you got it right. No, you, dude, you didn't dude, we looked it before. Joe, we looked it up before, and no, it was Micah who challenged me. You're like, bro, we've never done this before. I looked the videos up. We did it every single time we were in person. Nice job, Gage. I'd like an apology. Nice job, Gage. I apologize. You have to know when you're right. You have to know when you're wrong. And I was wrong, I guess. Yeah. Well, Gage always knows when he's right. What does that mean? <laughs> and when you're wrong, you know. That's true. I don't know about that. I can be stubborn. Anyways, um, I guess we're just going to start this off with, damn it. Uh, not the weekend how we plan to go. Um, for those watching who are curious about why I said damn it, we uh, suffered our first loss um, ever in grass. That was brutal. You lost before in the grass. Oh, I did lose on the grass. I lost three times prior. And I told Gage it was absolute karma. For yep. there's a, Everything went wrong in Carolina because of the past eight months. All you do is crap on South Carolina. Yep. And then it absolutely just Wait. gave him the middle finger last week. That's true. I did think about that. After we lost, that's all I could think about. I was like, I can't get rid of this freaking place. It's South Carolina and me. Actually, the people... All right. First off, before we get on our discussion of the match and what happened in the weekend... Um, I would like to say that the community there was actually, they were actually very, and there was a lot of the same people. They were actually very cool. And um, I, I, I ha my heart is warmed up, even though it's not exactly our best weekend. I we played did like actually, we yeah. played horrible. I did enjoy it, though. I did enjoy it. That's what happens when you don't practice a single time. Go yeah. All right. So let's, let's talk leading up to it. First of all, Michael wasn't there. Michael, explain where you were. <laughs> right here. Where was I? I was here, no? You were here. I was here, Wait, coaching. What was I doing? I don't know. Continue. So, um... Where was I? So, basically what happened was, we go in. The last time we had played was in South Carolina, about eight to nine months prior. And, uh, for me, you know, I definitely did not come back the same shape uh, that I ended the tour on or began the tour on last year. But, in my mind, I was like, you know what? It's grass. I'm just going to go out there, just do my thing. And got cocky about it, to be honest with you. Um, and we didn't. We the, the first time we touched a touched grass volleyball was the day before the tournament, which was nine or ten months prior. And um, reg Joe looked great. I did not look right either. Um, and then we went in, and I don't know, Joe. You want to talk a little about stuff or what? I don't know. Well, we were supposed to be with Brett Rosemeyer. People yeah. don't know that. His flight got canceled multiple times, so he couldn't come. So we had Eli there, who was literally just supposed to do content all weekend. Mm -hmm. So we grabbed him up. He hadn't played in like two years. So it was, you know, we went into it with uh, very minimal <laughs> preparation. Preparation. Very minimal preparation. And that's what happens when you don't prepare people. It's a good lesson for everybody out there. Yeah. Um, and we won't let that happen again. And so the uh, Micah will be playing with us next tournament, OC Crown, right? Yeah. Okay. Mike will be with us for the OC crown. It's gonna be a real. It's gonna be a lot of high level competition. Uh, we're excited. We'll be our asses will be in shape. We'll be playing. We'll be ready to go. Are we gonna practice every day? Or I don't know. Well, then why? What would change if we didn't do that then? Like why would we, we need? More we shape? need to get in shape. 
AKA Gage, no, lose no, no. weight. We need to get in shape. In shape meaning like slim down or like grass shape? Just, you know, just feeling strong, feeling good. Well, I feel strong in the paint. If I'm in the paint, I feel bodacious and dangerous. I did give me. <laughs> you got that Kyle Lowry look. Right? <laughs> look at Fig, my boy. <laughs> um, also, we are in the back of our bus right now, and you might be like, "Okay, good." They're just parked right outside their house. We are not. We are across the street from our house, and we are have the doors wide open next to our neighbors who we've never met. So, if anyone interrupts this podcast, you know why. Um, but anyway, back to the weekend. It, it was just bad. It well, was Gage also lost his wallet, lost all of his credit cards, lost yep, driver's ID, license, lost my AirPods, lost prior the cash. Lost, yep, lost the cash from the tournament. And then I didn't want that money anyway. Um, and then I also um, lost my sweatshirt. I lost my favorite sweatshirt. So, so that was so cool. And Gage, you That's know, cool. yeah. Gage had it coming to him. The entire eight months, all he did was crap on South Carolina and say it's the worst place ever. And then, you know, they just gave him the middle finger. Yeah. All right. So just more. Smoke it into existence. Oh, yeah, for sure. I deserve everything that happened to me this weekend. I 100% deserved it. 100%. And I know that now. Basically, more of the story, people. And also, I wanted to say two more things. Eli did a great, like, Eli, he didn't play for two years. And stepping up, he did a great job. This was not, this, mainly it laid on me for the loss and everything. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong. As, as the main, it was a hundred, it was my fault. And I also like to, the other team, you know, they're, you can't just go into South Carolina where they're practicing grass every weekend and stuff and just not show up re- ready to go in shape and expect to oh, just kick ass. And on a small court, which is the, which is where they, they, uh, they thrive, thrive off of. And we were not thriving off that. And spin serve, we didn't really have that. Neither of us. And that's like one of our biggest weapons. We didn't really have a lot of weapons. I was very inconsistent. Just felt uncomfortable at times. I just made a lot of errors, which... They were in his head, too. I never hear. I never heard you say, like, I was thinking about like this... No. The, the serving thing. You came, I was just thinking about the line. I never heard you say anything like that. No, so what happened? That, I knew that you were a little flustered. No, 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 no. What happened was I tossed it, and then I was like, oh, the the line. And then, so I was thinking about it midair. It wasn't like, oh, I was thinking about before. I tossed it, because I was just cruising, you know? What line? So you can't land outside the court. So what they were saying you was... You can't land outside the court. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the same in indoor. So you have to should. land inside yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and I border it. So when I tossed it, I jumped. That's, that's and not the one that will say for indoor. I can I can I can say that now. No, you have to contact the ball inside the court. You can land outside yes. the court for sure. And it's the same thing on the outdoor. They didn't know the rules. I the fact that they called it just kind of showed. Too. They called it. Yeah. Somebody the referee yes. called that he yeah. contacted it. Yes. But that's not a surprise. Wow, I that is crazy. That's not a surprise though. Does that shock you from what we experienced last year? <laughs> Borderline, yeah, that's like next level. Yeah, that's not even a lift or a double. No. That's like rule book kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. So they they said that you have to land within the court. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's not true. It's not true. You have to, contact, you have to contact the ball inside the court. Maybe, but I know you have to take. You have to toss them like. You have to take off from inside. No, that's maybe it's just contact. We should. We need to look this rule up. Oh yeah, we do. Okay, keep talking. They sure did. Trying to find it. Oh, they they. They found it in some rule book. They did. They brought it. No. Well, think, but but the way guys, they argued it, they brought the rule book out of their backpack. But it's like, hey, I actually. But it's also have a grass, though, so they can make whatever rules up they want a lot of the time. That's true. So they could be like, oh, in South Carolina, this is how we play it. You know, um, but that's that's why I said that because I tossed it. I, th- I was like, "Oh shit!" Midair, and then I missed it, whiffed it. Um, I should have hit a lot more, for sure. Learn my lesson. It's whatever, you know. You live and you learn. Well, got to make sure you learn from it. Otherwise, it was a waste of a waste of loss, <laughs> I guess you could say. But yeah. And, but I uh, will. I have to give also a huge shout out to every, all the co- Clay, Jenna, the mm-hmm. coaches. You know, our whole staff. That's that was traveling. awesome. So they were freaking awesome. We got so much good feedback and the events. It was our big, 120 kids this week. That's pretty crazy to think about. Twin City. Um, Twin Cities. Big shout out to them. And then, of course, the Uso himself. Jacob Tugoti Mariner. He is the absolute legend. He's outside linebacker for the Carolina Panthers. He helped out big time. We had With all the flight, we had rainstorms and travel stuff getting mixed around. And he came through and really helped out. Gage and I ended up staying there two extra nights. Just having a good time. We went to Top Golf one time. We were just talking with him. He was showing us the town, um, and he's just the absolute man. So huge shout out to him. He hates when we talk about him, 
but uh, you know, we're excited. He's gonna be out in LA with us. We're gonna be doing some cool stuff, and some cool content with NFL players with him. So we're stoked about that. Did you do you know do you know what we're doing? Can we say it? Go ahead. Yeah. So what do you know about this? Uh-huh. So he's like, uh, so he was telling. Do you know? Us, just keep asking. Do you, you know? You haven't heard, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he doesn't even know, bro. <laughs> No. So, uh, obviously, he's from L.A., and he has a lot of friends, and a lot of NFL players live out in L.A., or they train in, in L.A. Yeah. So, after their summer session here, he's going to come back here. He's going to crash, and one of the, one of the uh, I'm not kidding, he told me this. He's like, hey, you got any room in your room? I was like, I mean, yeah, I got inflatable beds. He's like, oh, that's perfect. He's going to crash below my bed, which you can't say that every every day, you know? Um, and he said, he's like, I want to bring you guys to, the, I forget the name of the training center, but with my boys, who owns it, where all the NFL players train. Right. We're going to go there, and we want you to train with NFL players. Us three are going to go lift and work out with the NFL guys. I might and he know said we can vlog Are they the UCLA guys? I don't know. They're really nice guys. There's a, there's, Jake is, like, one of the nicest guys of all time, and dude, a bunch dude, of them are really so nice. nice. Yeah, they're really cool. I also found the rule. So at the moment of the service, hit or take off for a jump service, the server must be completely in the service zone and not touching the court, end line included, or the playing service outside the zone. After the service, the player may skip or land outside the zone, including mm. the court. Yeah, I mean, that 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 is the rule, but the problem is it's, it's, it's barn ball at the end of the day. It's grass. It's, I mean, they can, they can say whatever the hell so they want. So what do you think you did? You just tossed it? He, they were arguing and, that he landed outside the court. Well, they were telling me before, and then I was just kind of cruising, you know, doing my thing. And then I toss it. I was like, oh, crap. And then, I, and then that's what happened. Got it. Um, it's okay. You live and you learn. I know. Lose Number one, lose weight gauge. Two, get in shape gauge. That's why I'm going to be running it every night uh, at 24-hour yeah, basketball. Yeah, right here. That's true. No, we're going to run it at basketball tonight. Yes, yeah, sir. I'll be down low in the paint. I'll tell you that. Um, so are you running with moving, us? moving, people. Are you going to be down there with us? Where? Dude. Uh, at 24 I don't know. I have a cold night at seven. It's at nine. All right. Nine's a little late. Why? Nine's just a little late. Dude, In late general. night sessions, then you get tired, shower, you just maybe do some work and then go to bed. This the past. We can talk about this after. All right. Anyways, that's what happened. Uh, but let's talk about the Orange County Crown, guys. I'm super pumped. Super thrilled. It's gonna be so sick. Uh, it's in two weeks here. If you haven't, link at the bio to sign up, guys. It's really exciting stuff, though. It's the first time we're gonna be playing together. And we got we just some stuff arrived our quote unquote jerseys for the weekend, very different from last year. Oh, but I'm so excited about that, Mike. What do you think about them? Without it's the pink one. God damn it, Micah! You can't say that. Why? It's supposed to be a reveal. We're gonna just show up with them. Ex- that's what a reveal is. Okay. Well, now that I said it, what are we wearing for the bottoms? Black. We got these black from. Can we say where we got it from? <laughs> No, just don't say where you got it from. We got it from a very basic white girl store that <laughs> if they were they're like if you say if you say the name of the store, they're like, Oh my god, we're gonna spend hours in there. Do you okay. get where I'm, I'm coming from? I think. Okay. And we went in the men's <laughs> section and they were just shorts. Basic black, black shorts. Okay. We're still so we got the so we got the uh the ones from China and we might go with them, we might not. Not the design looks cool, but we're also looking around here. Because we want to make sure when we make it able to sail, we have, like, the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to just, like... You're right. But, yeah. So, Orange County Crown. Um, I think we're all pumped for it, boys. Yeah? I'm super excited. It's going to be a, little, a really cool event. We've been talking about it for a while, planning it out for a while. It's our first ever kind of event that we're hosting. You know, I always talk about people, once they come on tour and they kind of experience that's the, so true. the event... They're just we hooked on it, that. and that's exactly like, that. for example, Jenna Gabriel now is coming. She wasn't coming before. Um, the our photographer, videographer, uh, Brian, the man, Brian Hansen. Finn. We have all these people that come in. They just are obsessed with being around the yeah. assistant team. Dude, that's so true. This because it, like, it's just a vibe. It's an energy that just, you can't. They, this is the thing. It's okay. an attractive, this is, it's an attractive energy. All right, this is what happens. This is what happens. This is what we've realized, especially this summer, Micah. We've had, I'm not going to name any names. You named one already. But there are specific people. Who, what happens is we try and schedule something with them. They're like, okay, you're like, I know them. And either we did a podcast with them or they just see us around the grapevine. Just a bunch of absolute th- idiots just running around what they see with the chicken with their head cut off. Mainly me is doing really stupid, saying really stupid stuff. So they're like, all right, I'll give these weirdos like 40 minutes of my time. Or, or there have been times where people almost canceled on us because they're like, uh, you know, they're, they're like, well, I don't have this much time. And they tell us, this happened a couple times. They tell us only oh, have this much time or this or that. And then what happens is we get in there. 
they get hooked on the Adam system in life. Is that and right? It, it is true. It is true. Yeah, it's just some energy. The energy. The energy, the essence of it, of the, the pineapple, um, it's just too much. It's just too much. And then all of a sudden, their schedule frees up. All of a sudden, they're a lot more free. <laughs> and a lot of them are like, oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Jenna said it was like one of the best weekends, weekends of her life. life. And that was like a down. Yeah. That was like a down one for us. You know what I'm We're saying? We're like, dude, we freaking lost. We should reach the highs, baby. We lost. We freaking lost a bunch of stuff. We traveled. I'm like, that was a freaking not one of the best weekends. Everything was, you just try to go out, but it was closed and everything. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we went out one night in Winston-Salem. Absolutely nothing to do there. Oh, Joe, don't speak into existence, man. Winston-Salem's going to... Someone who did already. <laughs> someone who's has a little, exactly a little karma here. Watch what you say on this podcast. We were just looking to go out, see the town, maybe play some like darts or pool or do something fun, and nothing. The karaoke we were looking for. There's nothing. Everything is closed. It's like ten o'clock. That's true. That's true. Even our cousin too. She's hooked on the life now. Leah, the merch god. Dude, everybody gets hooked on. Life. They get hooked on the life, man. It's it cool is. though. It is. It's it an, is. It's an energy. But it's survive. good to have you back too, though, Micah. Don't get me wrong. We all it's really different, but it's different though. It's, it's different. We we need Micah. For Don't sure. say <laughs> that. Anyways, all right. So this until, is, yeah, until Gage gets until trained. Gage, yeah, yeah, yeah. In that particular scenario, maybe. That's fair. But That's usually fair. no. So so th- it's different on tour without. Uh, I everyone's like, who's Jake? Because we have we had eleven people. 11 people. Yeah, that's a ton We've never, we've never, imagine, like, it was cool. That's so ridiculous. We were getting toured around the facility, and we were all trailing except for Joe, and I just kind of turned back. I, I actually did this. I turned back, and I turned around, and I just kind of looked, and it was just like, one of the, it, the emotions just hit me. I was like, wow, bro, we were just in the bathtub. Like, and that's when he lost his wallet. <laughs> no, 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 I lost my wallet at a barbecue. Let's get something straight here. Um... But no, it was actually kind of cool because I was like, wow, like me and my brother, we just started this and Mike came along. Like we just, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, when yeah. we come, we have a, like s- like nine extra people with us right now. This is unbelievable. Um, so it was really, really cool. But it is it is a different vibe because we're all meeting each other for the first time. The only thing is not, like I'm tight with a lot of them, but it's not like the four of us, you know what I'm saying? Like we got yeah. team over here, team over there, team over you know what I'm saying? Um, everyone always asks, who's, who the heck's Jake? Like, I was talking about, I'm like, oh, he's a team mascot. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a team he mascot. He is a team mascot. That's like, exactly he what he is. Let me say that too. He hates, he hates it. He, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's right. like, yeah, whatever, man. Like, it's funny All though. Right. It adds, it adds, but it's true. Yeah. He is a team mascot. It's true. <laughs> it is different. He 100% is. How funny is that? That like, when there was three of us doing a tour, we brought one person to help and it's a team mascot. <laughs> Like he video- skipped all dude. the other important roles. Oh, like, God. Team mascot? Yeah, we need that. Videography, <laughs> dude. He was doing our videography. He'd never done it before. <laughs> I was like, he's like, I was like, all right, I'm going to try and say this in the most PG way I can because me, when me and Jake would, like, it was basically Joe and Micah and then me and Jake a lot of the time, like, well, because we were the media team, me and Jake. So what would happen is we'd go to tournaments and be like, Jake, what are you doing? He's like, bro, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing right now. I was just like, that. I was like, get over there. I was like, you're going to run around and get all these shots. Like, bro, I do not know what I'm doing. I was like, <laughs> and then he'd go, and then you'd see him on the live stream just running around. I was like, and then if he says no, oh, I know how to man. kind of push his buttons. I was like, wow, bro, I thought you were for the boys, bro. Like, I, thought, <laughs> oh, like, I was like, I thought you were for the content. Like, I thought you, like, you were really, like, like sociable, he's like, fine, fine, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, <laughs> it was just oh, me. I was like, I'm, like half the time, be like, me and Jake, be like, Jake, what the crap are you like? Substitute the word there, like, how are you doing right now? It was oh. just great though. We were the media team, and then we got hired when we got, <laughs> when we got, uh, we came back as a media. Oh man, what that's you another do with story, that? huh? I gave it. I gave it to. It was okay. Lando? It was, it was a musician, and okay. I gave it to him. We got hired out. <laughs> like he's the one hire us. You did give it to him. Yeah, yeah. Nice. They paid us. They paid us. Uh, can I say how they paid us or not? I don't care. They paid us some beers, but I don't drink. So Jake had a great night that night. <laughs> <laughs> I even got a Polaroid of it, and, and it's it just Jake with a beer with the camera, and it just says professionals. <laughs> so good night. It oh, was a good night. Man. No, but it's a different vibe. But it's good to have the, the team back. But Jake isn't gonna be back this summer. So, so what is? I have a question for you. So, Brian, uh, you'll be seeing a lot more Brian. He's phenomenal. Dude, Brian is Brian's next crazy. level. Crazy. Um, he's our photographer, he's, yeah, videographer he's awesome. for this summer. So, where's that leave Jake? I'm asking me. You're the content director. Yeah, but all the decisions go through you. Yeah, but you're the content director. So, you're in charge Dude, of Dude, Jake will always, always. We need him. Always have a place. That's what I'm saying. That's in what I'm saying. Van. Okay, I'm just making sure. In any <laughs> van that we are in, Jake will always, always have a place. That's true. Oh, also, shout out to Drew Allen. Without him, we would have been stuck in the water a lot. Um, you remember that guy who made his own absence jersey? Yeah, 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 I know. I remember. I know yeah, yeah, yeah. 
She was awesome. He's coming out for the Orange County Crown. He's part of the B oh, team. Sorry. Ben Ritson went to all Ben Ritson and okay. Langdon Liebler, the Formula team. That Dude, comes with the Langdon B is team. sick too. I like that team. All of them are cool. It's gonna be all a legendary cool team. Yeah, ever seen. How many? How, all right. Hey, so, women's and juniors. We need you guys to fill the thing up. Men's division. You guys have been killing it, but we need filled up. Men's, and, ju- men's and ju- or women's and juniors. We want to see you guys out there. There's still the price or the pat. Uh, the, 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 the prize package is still the same. Seventy five hundred for the women's division. So it's gonna be sick. Big money for the winners, so show up. With that being said, by the Orange County Crown, this is the first time ever that all the members of Out of System, even when we changed with, mm. uh, except for with Max and stuff like that, but all in one place at one time. Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. It's coming this Friday because Mike gets down here and everyone else is down here. Oh, that's right. Mike, too. So think about that. That's Wait, right. how many? You, you never met Mike. Yeah, I have. Why is in person? In person? Yes. Where? I've definitely met Mike. No, you I haven't, dude. Here. You have not. Where have you met Mike? <laughs> Wait, whoa. Is that a... He's never Am left Lafayette. Am I You're tripping ball sack new. Right? You've never oh, I've talked to them so much, I really just thought I knew him. Yeah. Same thing happened with when Gino. When you see him, you'll, that's like, exactly that's how it is. When you talk to him every single day for like hours. Yeah, and you're you just like, him. oh, hey, Chino. Yeah. It's like I've seen that face so many times. Have I really not met Mike? Not in person. I don't know if I agree with that. Dirty Mike. I agree with that. I know for a fact you haven't. Okay. I've seen everyone you met. Even Mike knows he hasn't. Yeah, you know everyone I've ever met. That's true. So you keep a good time. <laughs> hey, you got to know when you're right. You got to know when you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, hey, man, watch the ice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, how many, wait, how many total members? We, is this going to set the record? We had 11 of us total last. Is this going to set the record? members? Well, working for us at once. Okay. Wow. Well, We're going to have around 15, I think. That's crazy. Anyways, yes, Orange County Crown. out people we don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in the dancers. <laughs> we got dancers? You can call them out if you want. <laughs> if you really, that's another way to call them. Um, no, it's going to be a good time. All right, that we're just cruising the back of our bus, man. Just living our lives that's down where here. That's we live. So we got to start, but we actually, I got to start training, Joe. I I gotta, gotta everybody's got to train, always. I don't think Mike is going to train. Mike, you play a lot of beast, though. I play a lot. Do you want to play? Do you want to practice grass Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be out there. Let's do it at least once or twice before the tournament. I'll but, be out there. Yeah, we can't We can't go and uh, stink it up at our own tournament. Yeah, no. For sure. <laughs> we can't go and raw dog it again. That's just not working for us, boys. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> Tilted. Absolutely. T- hey, with that, guys, just remember, if you can't handle the heat, goddamn kitchen. There's been another episode presented by Atta System.